This is a quick video on how to label and export tracks from a, a large recording in Audacity. So what I've got here is I've got a, a recording that I recorded off of a tape that I had since the 80s. Uh, this tape is Iron Maiden's Made in Japan EP. So you can see I've got distinct songs. I've actually got five. One, two, three, four, five. In the last video, I saved this as one big file, and that's great. But, you know, if I want to put this into my MP3 player or something like that, or if I want to put it on a CD, I'd like to be able to select the songs. And so that's how to do this. So the first thing we want to do is put the cursor at the very beginning here. All right, let's zoom in a little bit, make sure we're not clipping anything off. Okay, good. So we get the cursor all the way at the beginning. And then I'm going to go to labels. So I'm going edit, labels, and I want to add label at selection. Now, you can do this through the menu, the menu every time, but I like to use the shortcut key. Now I'm using a Mac, and so for the Mac, the shortcut key is flower key B. For a, a PC, it would be control B. All right, so let's select it here. All right, and so we end up with this layer down here. We can click on this box and put in the name of the first song. So let's see, name of the first, I'm looking at the tape here, and the name of the first song is Running Free. Running Free. Okay, great. So now let's go find where the next song is. Now it's, it's not terribly clear where the first song ends and the next song begins. So I'm just going to go ahead and play this. I put the cursor close to where I think it is. Play it. Okay. So it looks like he's got a speaking intro here. So let's back up a little bit. All right. So he's introducing the next song here. So I want to come in. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's put the cursor right about here. And let's see what that does. Perfect. Okay. So let's go ahead and hit Control B here. And we'll call this uh, the next song, which is Remember Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Now, this is a little bit more complicated because it's a live recording. Um, on a studio recording, you're going to get natural, normal breaks. You know, like this guy here is a very, very sp specific break. So let's go ahead and put another one in here. Control B. This is Wrath Child. And just to be sure, I'm going to go listen. Sometimes I get them out of order. Yep, that's Wrathchild. So, okay, great. Now, so it looks like we got something going on here. Let's see what's happening here. Oops. Zoom it a little bit. Let's see what's happening here. Okay, zoom in a bit. All right. So you can hear the next song starting to come in already. So let's get a little closer here. So it looks like the place to make the break is right there. Now of course there's not going to be any there's not going to be any um there's not going to be any skips or anything like that. They'll actually just go from one track to the other. So so we're not going to have big delays or anything like that. Let's go ahead and hit control B. And this is going to be killers. And let's just go make sure, hit return. Let's make sure we're hearing what we want to hear. All right, that's the beginning of Killers. Beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit and find the next song. Okay, well, this looks like the next song here. Let's zoom in here and let's have a listen. All right, so definitely that thanks very much is the begin is the end of the last song. So let's go ahead and put the break right in here, right after that. And this is Innocent Exile. All right, so let's zoom out a little bit. We've got all the titles, okay? And this is where it gets fun. All right, now what I can do is go up to File and Export, and I can export multiple. 
Okay, so we export multiple. And this is the last thing that I did. So let's go ahead and choose a folder. And we'll just go put this in this, this uh, Audacity folder that I've been working with. Let's see, Audacity Tutorials. Let's make a new folder and we'll just call this Made in Japan. Okay, we'll put it, let's see, oops, that's a little off the screen. Put that right in there. All right, uh, we can do it as an MP3. Yeah, we'll do it as an MP3, sure. Uh, variable quality, fine, joint stereo. Split files based on labels, that's what I want to do. Uh, you have some naming conventions you can do here. You can use the label and the track name, or you can do numbering before the label and the track name. Um, and that's what I'm going to do, uh, because I like to have them numbered. And let's go ahead and export. Okay, so this is the first song. First song's running free, track number one. These are all the titles that I had when I saved this project previously, with the exception of the track titles. So that looks good. Next song, Remember Tomorrow, track two, that looks good. Wrath Child, number three, that looks good. Um, Killers, number four, that looks good. Innocent Excel, looks good. And off we go. So what this does, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a, uh, a Finder window here for you and show you what's happening here. So this is actually exporting them in a in a format that looks very normal so we'll be able to pull this into iTunes or whatever <clears throat>